Grief, I have learned, is really just love. It's all the love you want to give but cannot. All the unspent love gathers up in the corners of your eyes, the lump in your throat and in the hollow part of your chest. Grief is just love with no place to go. Jamie Anderson While love may sit in the corners of eyes and in lumpy throats and in the hollows of our chest, I think many of us, the world over, look for places for our love to go. There is a theory of grief called continuing bonds that gives voice to human experiencing. For many of us, we have the sense that just because somebody has left this earth, that it does not mean our connection, our attachment or our relationship with them has to end. And this is what this theory recognises. That despite bereavement, despite our loved one no longer being with us in the flesh, does not mean that we can't have a relationship with them in a new and developing way. As life grows up around our grief, we find ways of staying connected and reinventing our relationship. The tapestry of our life is woven with new practices and rituals, memory making, remembrance days, photo albums, scrapbooks, visiting places where we feel close to them, finding other people to connect with with a shared experience to ours are all ways that we can continue our bonds with our person. Thomas Attig said, when we grieve, we move from loving in presence to loving in separation. Our love doesn't stop. Our thoughts and our memories don't cease. And nor do they have to. What once was a relationship that happened in the physical realm now dwells and is cultivated within us, shared with others or kept to ourselves. We find new ways of feeling close. We find new ways of sensing their presence. We find new ways of honouring their memory and our relationship with them. Those we love never truly leave us. There are things that death cannot touch. Jack Thorne